Now I've created a practice, just a shell of a web page that I've called the practice page. And when I have something to show you that doesn't really fit any of the pages we're creating, this is where I'm going to run to. And what we're going to look at today are tables. Now, tables are useful when I want to display a set of data in columns and rows. Think of it as a two-dimensional matrix, kind of like an Excel spreadsheet. Okay? Now, how we define the table. The table is made up of rows. So I've got my table on and my table off tabs. The TR here is how I begin to define a row. TR is how we end a row. And TD is how we define a column within the row. So table, to start a table, TR to start a table row, TD to enter a table column for table data. So let's put in, I'm going to put in the names of the universities I've attended. So that would be the University of South Dakota would be one. And let's put in another row. And within that row, another column. Can't end it before I begin it, can I? And in this one, let's put in Ferris State University. And let's create a new row. with the TR tag in a new column with the TV tag and we'll put in Michigan State University and although it's not really a university I'm going to put in one more alma mater in a fourth row. Okay, and that would be Lansing Community College. Okay, so I've got a table with one column, the names of universities, four rows. Let's see what it looks like. Let's go ahead and save this out. And then let's click on our icon for practice.htm. And there's my table. Let me increase the size a little bit of that text so that you can see it. Now, if you can't increase the size of your text, if that looks like magic to you, just remember it's one of those little Apple tricks. And if you've got a Mac, the trick is open Apple plus to increase, open Apple minus to decrease. Okay, so let you think about that. We'll come back in a few minutes and we'll put in a second column.